The Director General of the Cross River State Signage and Advertisement Agency, Mrs. Stelling in Semo Livingstone, was yesterday captured coaching online friends and families on how to prepare marinated beer chicken. The short video, which was uploaded on his Facebook and Instagram accounts, was in celebration of the Easter. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. This is beer chicken, a very messy process. You see, we have the beer can under it. Let's see, can you see it? Come close, come close. See the beer can? Okay. And you have to have an extra 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 of beer. And then we're gonna have the chicken sit right like that. And then you don't, don't be afraid to get dirty with the chicken. Get dirty, massage. Massage the chicken, gently massage the chicken. Make sure it enters everywhere. You need the chicken to be all nice and tender. Yeah? So massage it. Touch every nook and cranny of it. Get in there. Your hands get inside the chicken. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's how you do it. Just get it in. Get it in everywhere. You know, you can't let any part of it not be well marinated. And then sometimes you get to get nasty, like squirrel chicken, just go ahead and just squirrel a little bit. Just that way, the spices can go all the way again. Don't, don't be afraid of the chicken, it's okay. Squirrel it. Squirrel it. And then I'm gonna get some of this, my secret mix. To see how beautiful it is. You know, let's cool to make sure you get some. It's really nice, actually. I, uh, no, I'm not going to say that online, yeah. that's nice, so, well, so now I have the chicken properly, massaged and marinated. Typically, we'll let this sit for about maybe, maybe another two, three hours so that the spices can get into it. But, uh, since we're doing this for the big picnic and black elk, we're trying to do something a bit different, we will let this go into the oven very quickly. So, go ahead. I have a massive pit outside my house. Come on, go over it. I have to be very careful. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, we're going outside now. I already have two big chickens grilling. This is the best. I don't want to go in. I just want to go in the stuff. Um, here, open the door. Do, 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 do. The door of the... Yeah, good. He's going to get it open there. Yep. And then he's going to open it. Yeah, you can see the... Let's get on up. Open the door. Yep. <coughs> so we're going to set this right up here. Uh, and... That's the... This is the... Lemon chicken that we're doing. We're inspired with a lot of lemon and love. So okay. Now we're gonna put the second tray here for the uh, Gentlemen, take a look at a grilled chicken. This is a beer chicken. Good beer. We're online for this. We can't we can't see we put yeah we put beer on there. The beer can on there. That's why it's called a beer chicken. You put it there? Yes we did. The steam from the beer will cook the chicken from inside. So it'll be moist. Now we're gonna close the oven and leave it set. And just for extra kick, we're gonna just douse it just a little bit. Although we have oil on it, douse it just a little bit of vegetable oil. That way, it doesn't brown and get too crispy. The skin will stay nice and moist. Uh, there we go. Look at the way that all oh, those trees are over there. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, so 
Um, yeah, this is how you make beer chicken. I'm not going to tell you the recipe, but you can come down to the Black Art Lounge, uh, Cabana, that's the big picnic, and have a taste of this. You didn't want to my chickens, didn't you? I took it to Yeah, already. How did they see at the picnic? Although the ingredients used for Mr. Insemo's spice, he said, will not be shared. However, adding that it is little secret. Reporting for Cross River Watch, I am Effa Sunday.